Hi, I'm Shiv from the Norfolk Honey Company and welcome to another Beekeeping Basics. So today we're going to take a look in some supers. Uh, we've removed a couple already and uh, have extracted some honey, but it's right at the end of July. It's now the time that the nectar flow here uh, in the UK, certainly in, in Norfolk, is starting to dry up and um, we always take our honey off at the end of July and then if the bees gather anything after that then they can store it into their brood box and have it for the winter. So we're going to look at the supers and see uh, how many of those are actually capped and we'll uh, video that and ha have a look to show you what um, capped supers look like and we'll also show you how you can check to see whether the honey is ripe enough to be extracted um, and we're looking for the water content to be uh, less than 20% ideally and uh, when we get back to the honey room we'll take a look at the honey through a honey refractometer and show you how you can use one of those inexpensive tools to double check that the honey is ready for extraction. So we'll uh, get the smoker lit, suit up and we'll go and have a look at some colonies now. So one of the first things that we need to do before we start thinking about removing supers is to make sure that the bees have sufficient stores in their brood box so that when we take the super off there's enough food still remaining for them and as you can see here uh, this end frame uh, the bees are filling nicely with stores so we know now that uh, if we take the super off there's going to be sufficient stores here um, should we have some inclement weather the bees are not going to starve, they've got plenty of stores while we extract the honey. So we're going to carry out a full inspection of this colony and then once I've completed that we'll um, pop the super back on and then we'll open the super and take a look inside to see whether the honey's ready to be extracted. This colony was actually a swarm that we collected in the beginning of June this year. And this was all foundation that they've drawn over the summer. And really this inspection is just to see that there are no very late queen cells, that there are eggs in the colony and that they have plenty of stores. And you can see each of these frames has uh, a reasonable amount of stores tucked away. This one in actual fact is all pollen, which is um, quite impressive. Again on this side too. The bees are quite calm, they're not aggressive at all. A rudimentary queen cell here. We'll just open up and make sure that there's no eggs inside, which there are not. And although I can't actually show on the video easily, uh, each of these frames is fully loaded with brood and eggs. So here we have some wax moth, and they leave a trail which you can normally pick up 
and there's the wax moth larvae just try to get into another cell. And it's worth keeping an eye out for these things. You can deal with them as you go without wasting a huge amount of time. And it's all part and parcel of the maintenance of the hive to ensure that the colony produces the maximum amount of honey that they can for you. full of brood and eggs. And this frame is full of stores and brood. So it's a, a good colony that we've picked up as a swarm. stores and so we can now close them up and take a look in the super. Okay, so we've got the queen excluder back in place. I'm just going to scrape off a little bit of the brace comb that they've attached to the top so we don't crush any bees when we put the super back on. I'll just move that out of the way. And now we can lift the super back. So if you take good care of a swarm that you pick up early in the season, it's quite possible to produce a, a full super of honey quite easily. So let's have a look inside the super and see what we've got. Okay, so looking down I can see the bees are working all of the frames. And they're building a little bit of brace comb at this end, so I'm going to just leave this end frame in. capped frame of honey, all sealed and ready to be removed and extracted. So we'll just go through the rest and we'll see if we can find uh, some that are not quite capped yet. Mm-hmm. 
So another really well capped frame of honey. And as I said earlier, these were a swarm of bees that we collected early in the season. At the beginning of June or thereabouts, first couple of weeks of June. And that's looking fantastic. super is pretty well sealed all the way across so what we'll do is we'll go across to another colony um, that has two or three supers on and we'll have a look to see if we can find a couple of frames that are not quite sealed and then we can give them a shake to see whether the honey drips out uh, and that's the test to see whether or not the honey is ripe enough to extract. But that super is capped all the way across and these have done a fantastic job with it. And that's ready to extract so um, we'll be extracting probably next week. So we'll remove this and we'll show you how we do that in another video but we'll remove this over the next few days and then we'll take it back to the honey room and we can show you how to extract or certainly the way that we would extract okay so we've carried out a complete inspection on this colony we've got three supers on it and uh, this particular super uh, is very light there's not much in it um, so i can illustrate quite easily the fact that this honey is not ripe. So, so what we're going to do is simply sh hold the frame horizontally and then shake it up and down over the super. And if any nectar drops out, then we know that it's not actually ripe enough to be extracted. So we simply hold the frame like this and just shake it and you can see that the nectar has fallen out of the cells and is, has dripped down onto the top bars of, of the frames. So this super doesn't have honey in it that we can extract because the water content is going to be too high. So we'll put the other supers back in place being careful to avoid crushing any bees. So this is the second super and here we can see an example of a partially capped frame. The bees are still working it but it's mostly it's mostly capped now. So again we can do the shake test on this. And none of the honey has dripped out of this one. So it means that the honey, whilst it's not capped, can be extracted. So this super can be taken. And that's the test really. If it doesn't drip out of the frames, then you can remove it to extract. So what we'll do is we'll arrange to um, take some supers off over the next week, and then we'll go back to the honey room and uh, extract them. We've already extracted some and I've got some honey back at the honey room uh, that um, we've already taken off and we can check using the honey refractometer uh, exactly what the water content is there. So we'll head off and uh, we'll catch up again back in the honey room. <laughs> 